Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll be sharing 12 top tips for the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. I will be showing all of the tricks on the iPhone 12 today but they also apply to the iPhone 12 Pro. By using these handy hacks you'll be able to use your new handset to its full potential. Tip 1. With the iOS 14 software update you are able to add widgets to your home screen enabling you to see more from the app without having to open it. This is a fantastic feature, though it does take up a lot of space on your home screen. To resolve this, you are able to stack your widgets. By doing this, you can swipe between them to see the widget that you desire. In order to make this possible, select your chosen widget and place it over the one you wish to stack it with. Tip two. If you have the camera open in photo mode, but you are wanting to quickly take a video, you can just hold down the capture button and it will begin to record a video. Whilst recording, if you swipe your thumb right, you are able to lock the camera, allowing you to record hands-free. You can also take a photo whilst doing so by pressing this button. Tip three, to avoid having to repeatedly press backspace in order to undo recently typed text, you can simply shake the device, which will then give you the option to undo text. Tip four, this is another one regarding messaging. When you have a message open, if you press three fingers down onto your screen, additional functions will be displayed at the top of your handset. Tip five. This is the back tap feature that was introduced to us through the iOS 14 update. By going into the accessibility settings, you'll be able to see the back tap function. From here, you'll be able to link tapping the back of your phone either two or three times to a command. Even with the protective case attached, you'll still be able to use this function. Tip six, if you have gone from an iPhone that has a home button to an iPhone that no longer has one, you may be a little bit confused. If you are using an app and are wanting to return to the home screen, swipe up from the bottom of the display. To move between your open apps, swipe right and left. And to close your open apps, hold and swipe up. You can then swipe the apps up to close them. Tip seven, you are able to hide the pages of your device. To do this, press down onto the home screen until your apps wiggle, then tap the bar that is presented on the screen. This will display all of your pages. Untick the pages that you wish to hide. Now the pages are hidden from your home screen. You are able to retrieve the pages by following the same steps as before and reticking them. Tip 8. To make your most used functions more accessible to you, you can add them to your control center. To do so, open the control center settings. From here, you'll be able to add and remove certain actions. If you hold down on them, you'll be able to delve deeper into that particular action and have even more control. Tip nine, to enable assistive touch, you'll need to go into the touch settings. Once it has been enabled, there will be an icon that will be constantly visible on your display. If you press the icon, it will give you shortcuts to certain settings, which you can customize within the settings. You can have as many shortcuts as you'd like as well as change what shortcuts appear. There is also the option to turn the icon into a command. For example, you can choose an action to happen when you hold down the icon. Tip 10. By holding down certain apps on your home screen, the app's most used features become visible. Therefore, you can access the part of the app you need in just seconds. Tip 11. Dolby Vision is new to the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro which increases the bitrate to enhance the way you record video from your phone. The camera on this device is exceptional, allowing you to take high quality videos all from a device that fits within your pocket. Tip 12. On the interface of the camera, you are able to adjust the quality of your filming through just a single tap. At the top corner, you have the option to change the format and frames per second in just seconds. I hope the tips within this video have been useful to you. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content regarding mobile accessories and tech reviews. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.